now since we know that the rate at which uh, the deviation uh, from the equilibrium value is growing is this rate a minus 1 let's look at what happens for different values of a now notice that we've been so far we've been talking about um, the special case uh, of the difference equation which is xt is equal to a xt minus 1 plus b where b is also a constant we just looked at in the last video we looked at some special cases and the first special case was where b is a coefficient and is not dependent on t so we are talking about that particular case here and the first case is when a is less than 1 so we are talking about the positive the mod value of a being less than 1 so a can basically be between minus 1 and 1 and we know that if a is less than 1 then as t increases the value of a raised to the power t will decrease so if t tends to infinity then a raised to the power t will become to will will tend to 0 so in such in such a case um, we know that the solution of the difference equation of this difference equation is this we've already derived this now if you look at this solution and uh, try and fix put this case into this equation you will notice that as t tends to infinity if a t tends to 0 then the first term basically tends to 0 and x t will tend to be upon 1 minus a so in a way we can say that x t will tend to its equilibrium value b upon 1 minus a as t tends to infinity uh, in another words we can say that if the mod value of a is less than 1 then the solution converges to its equilibrium state when t tends to infinity and in this situation the equation is called as a stable equation uh, now look at these two graphs which show two different possibilities of the case when a is greater than 1 so the first sorry when a is less than 1 so the first possibility is so a can be between 1 and minus 1 so the first possibility is that a is between 0 and 1 and in this case the graph would look like this so suppose x naught is greater than the equilibrium x so on the y axis we have the variable value on the x axis we have the time variable and we notice that this value is the value of the equilibrium uh, it is the equilibrium value and x naught is the point where we start from so as t increases we know that the first term of the solution which is this term will become will tend to become zero meaning that this term eventually will get reduced to zero and you will be left with this so as t increases graphically we can show that this uh, as t increases the difference between x and its equilibrium value will diminish and so you will notice that it keeps on diminishing as you as you keep on increasing t and ultimately as t tends to infinity this will converge with the equilibrium value that's one upon that's b upon one minus a the second case would look like this even in this case you see that as t tends to infinity the value finally converges to the equilibrium value but now this is a more unstable a more uh, oscillating curve as compared to this curve both of these cases are stable equilibrium cases because you finally uh, as t tends to infinity you finally reach the equilibrium point but this one is a much more smoother transition to the equilibrium as compared to this as it is a very oscillating curve now why is it oscillating is because that a is less than zero meaning and greater than minus one meaning a is a negative value here now what happens in case of a being negative is that when a when t is even then this term will be positive when t is odd then this term will become negative so you will see for each consecutive t values the term will change its sign from being positive to negative but the value will keep on reducing because as t increases uh, since a is less than 1 so if, even if it's negative it is less than 1 it is less than minus 1 so the value of this entire term will decrease as t increases but it will keep on changing its sign with each unit of increase in t so suppose the first t value is an even value and you would notice that um, 
it is positive then the second t is let's say odd and you will notice that it becomes negative then the next t will be even it becomes positive the next will be negative and then positive negative positive negative and so on and you would notice that the amount by which it changes also decreases so compared to this change this change would be lesser and again this would be lesser so it will the change will also sort of decrease as t increases and ultimately it will reach the point of equilibrium this particular case when a is between 0 and minus 1 is called as the case of damped oscillation so these are the two cases which are possible sub cases of the case when a is less than 1 the second possibility could be when a is greater than 1 so when a is greater than 1 again the equilibrium is the same value as we had calculated before but now things will change because now as a is greater than 1 when t increases the first term will actually approach infinity in the last case when a was less than 1 as t increases a raised to the power t was tending to 0 while in this case as t increases meaning as t tends to infinity a t also tends to infinity and in a way you are moving away from the equilibrium you know that this is the equilibrium point and you want the first term to actually get eliminated from the equation but when a is greater than 1 then you will not have a stable equilibrium you wouldn't really reach the equilibrium why because the first term will become bigger and bigger as t increases which is what we notice here so suppose a is greater than 1 so we want the mod value of a to be greater than 1 and there are two possible cases again one case is that a is greater than 1 the other case is a is less than minus 1 so a is minus 2 minus 3 but the mod value of a is still greater than 1 so when this is the case the first case you would notice that as t increases this term will become bigger and bigger which so suppose x0 is less than the equilibrium value then basically you are moving away from the equilibrium state as t increases this is what is shown here and uh, another important thing to note here is that the term will also become negative after a certain point of time because you notice here that the first term is made up of two terms the first term is uh, a raised to the power t x naught and the second term is minus a raised to the power t b upon 1 minus a so beyond the point when t increases this term becomes uh, larger and larger such that this second term which would be a raised to the power t into b upon 1 minus a will become greater than this term and the entire equation will turn negative and that's when it starts turning negative so in a way you are never going to reach back to this equilibrium point when this is the case the second sub case is when a is uh, less than minus 1 so mod of a is still greater than 1 but we're talking about negative a values now again in this case you will have oscillations just as the previous case where we had uh, negative a values but less than 1 in this case again you will have oscillations but these are explosive oscillations while the previous case was of damned oscillations why because now the first term is becoming greater so you will see that it starts from this value uh, it increases so the first increase would be positive because the first term let's say is even the second t being odd will become negative but now this negative change would be larger again you will see that this positive change is much larger than this positive change whereas in the damped oscillation case the changes were becoming lesser and lesser with each consecutive change so this one is called as an explosive oscillation because now with each change in t the or the change with the change in t the changes in the variable are becoming greater and greater and ultimately again it is moving away from the equilibrium as we notice here it will never reach back to its equilibrium point and is actually moving away from the equilibrium so we can conclude that for a difference equation which um, which looks like this which is x t is equal to a x t minus 1 plus b for a difference equation like this the equilibrium value is b upon 1 minus a and 
uh, you will only reach the equilibrium when the value of a when the mod value of a is less than 1 for mod value of a greater than 1 you will never reach the equilibrium because of these two cases.